वेलकम ऑल ऑफ द बी एस सी सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स इन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लास्ट फ्यू पीरियड्स वी हैव स्टडी द फिश डिशीज मैनेजमेंट अमंग दिस फिश डिशीज मैनेजमेंट वी हैव स्टडी द फंगल डिशीज और डिशीज कॉज ड्यू टू फंगल the next diseases which is to be occur both in fresh water as well as marine water fishes that diseases these are the bacterial diseases the diseases these are the bacterial diseases number of bacterial pathogens number of various bacterial pathogens these are to be attack on fish that fishes may be cultured in fresh water or that which is may be cultured in marine water means both fresh water as well as marine water fishes these are to be affected by the bacterial pathogens and when this bacterial pathogens these are to be cause these are to be affect on fish dis or affect on fishes the complete fish crop these are to be destroyed suppose these are to be grow excessive these are to be grow in abundant condition then among these bacteria number of pathogens number of bacterial pathogens these are to be occur these bacterial pathogens some bacterial pathogens these are the facultative and some are the obligate bacteria facultative and second is the obligate facultative bacteria and obligate bacteria what is mean by facultative bacteria and what is the obligate bacteria the facultative number of bacterial pathogens or maximum bacterial pathogens these bacterial pathogens these are the facultative facultative means these are to be grow with aerobic condition these are to be grow with anoxious condition these are grow with anaerobic condition means in all these conditions in all these situations these bacteria these are to be grow they can multiply rapidly with oxygen without oxygen that is oxygen these are to be taken from the food material or the feed stuff second is the obligate bacteria these bacteria these are to be only grow only these are to be multiply when they can use the oxygen from water oxygen from the different sources that is bacteria is called as the obligate bacteria means among the bacterial pathogens maximum bacterial pathogens these are to be facultative means they can grow rapidly with anaerobic condition they can grow rapidly with aerobic condition or they can grow with anoxious condition means for their growth that is oxygen these are to be not essential they can take oxygen from food material they can take oxygen from the water they can take oxygen from the fermented process but obligate bacteria they do not take oxygen from the fermented process these bacteria these can be take the oxygen only from the liquid sources only from the water sources that's why they do not rapidly grow or multiply means maximum bacteria these are the facultative and few bacteria these are the obligate bacteria these bacterial pathogens these are to be attack both fresh water fish culture as well as the marine water fish culture both these crops these bacterial pathogens these are to be attack and these cause the fish diseases especially among these bacterial fish diseases number of bacterial diseases these are to be seen one is the tail rot or it is also called as fin rot and second is the dropsy for our syllabus we have study only tail rot and the dropsy tail rot it is also called as the fin rot but there is a controversy about the tail rot and fin rot because tail rot is to be different and fin rot is to be different tail rot fin caudal fin of fish is to be affected by bacterial pathogens when this caudal fin is a severe affected and this caudal fin is a to be cause of fall down then 
that this is is got by the tail rod or the fin rod fail the bacterial pathogen is are to be attack on the other fins that is the dorsal fin it is to be attack on the pectoral fin it is to be attack on the pelvic fin it is to be attack on the anal fin then these fins these are to be affected these are to be caught and due to these bacterial pathogens these fins these are to be found out these are to be passed out that this is is called as the fin rod means tail rod and fin rod these are to be different these are to be separate here experimentally scientists pondre experimentally scientists pondre in 1961 He studied experimental on goldfish. On goldfish in laboratory, practically experimentally, these are to be studied, and it showed that the tail rod and fin rod these are to be different, these are to be separate. Because the tail rod only is to be affected on the caudal fin region, and fin rod these are to be affected that is dorsal, pectoral, pelvic, and anal fin. These two diseases, these are to be different. These are to be separate. In experimentally, these are to be studied. This to be noted by the scientist Conway in 1961 on goldfish. That is the what is the scientific name of goldfish? Carrier series. Are there some of these goldfish? Practically, experimentally, these are to be proved that tail rod and fin rod these are to be different. That is Conway. These are to be studied that tail rod these are to be called. These are to be affected. Due to the bacteria that is Eriomonas liquefaciens, Eriomonas liquefaciens is the bacterial pathogen. This bacterial pathogen is a to be cause the disease in the caudal fin, and first caudal fin is a to be affected, is a to be destroyed. That disease is called as the tail rot. And second bacteria that is Eriomonas formis. This area of the spores bacteria is that we affect on the dorsal fin, affect on the pectoral fin, affect on the pelvic fin, affect on the anal fin, and these fins these are to be broken down, these fins these are to be torn down, broken down, and ultimately it is become damaged, it is become dead. That is it is called as the fin rot. Means tail rot and fin rot these are to be different. Tail rod is a to be caused due to the Eriomonas infestation, and this tail rod is a to be caused Eriomonas formis. These two bacteria, that is one is the Eriomonas infestation, and second is the Eriomonas formis. These are to be caused the disease in fishes. That disease is called as the tail rod or the fin rod. Then, what is the symptoms of this tail rod or the Symptoms. What is the symptoms of this tail rod or the fin rod? The first symptoms. First, white line appears on the border of the bead caudal fin. First, that is white line is that to be appear. White line is that to be appear on the border of the fins and this white line is to indicate that the bacterial pathogen these are to start to affect start to attack on the fins of the fish it is the first symptom second symptom this outer border line of the white line these are to be progressively increase and this is to be increased toward the tail region toward the interior side toward the interior side these are White line these are to be increased, these are to be spread constantly from border to the this interior side of the fin, and fin becomes brittle, fin becomes inorganic, fin fin becomes or fin rays become brittle, inorganic. These conditions these are to be occur. Ultimately, these fins these are to be cause of or it is to be fall. Another symptoms of this <coughs> bacterial disease. What is the other symptoms? 
due to this bacteria is under the progressively grow it is to be affect severely on all genes to complete these things that is quarter pin or either dorsal pin either pectoral pin or either pelvic pin these are to be brittle these are to be hemorrhagic hemorrhagic that is the blood sheet complete pin that is that to be fall down these are to be broken down and this condition is that to be that pins these are to be broken down the pins these are to be broken down what happens swimming of fish is that to be affected and when swimming of fish is that to be affected then other pathogens other microbes that may be protozoal microbes that may be helmi that may be bloody helmi that may be fungal or that may be worm pathogens these are to be attacked on this infected part this broken part and then these are to be progressively increased and complete fins these are to be destroyed and when complete fins these are to be destroyed fish becomes unable to swim from one place to another place and ultimately it can die ultimately other prey ultimately other animal these are to be attacked on the fish and fish becomes die or is to be dead or sometimes is to be utilized as food for the predatory animal due to this these things these are to be broken down these are to be brittle brittle down cast off or fall down when these things these are to be fall down these are to be cast off what happens that is the fish swimming these are to be totally lost and when fish swimming these are to be affected then other pathogens or fish becomes at one place not moving not swimming and it is to be cause seriously it is to be increased continuously one fish is that to be affected then next two fish is that to be affected and whole crop of fish in a pond in a water body it is to be affected by this bacteria and it is to be severely called severely it is to be affected and with this bacterial pathogens severe disease these are to be affected severe pindora pindora these are to be occurring in a complete crop complete culture system and that crop is to be lost that crop is to be finished these are the few symptoms of the pindora of the tail crop which is to be affected by the bacteria with the monas liquefaction and the monas for this practical which is to be done by scientists on day 1961 there is the symptoms of the bacterial disease tail dot or the pin rod yes up to here any difficulty please ask a treatment of this bacterial disease what is the treatment of this bacterial disease we have to be found in the body of the fish body that may be fresh water or that may be marine water among these fresh water or marine water we have treated with to remove these tail dot or fin rod first we have carefully check the fishes and see the white line these have to be appear on the fins that may be coral fin that may be dorsal fin or that may be any fins when this white line these have to be indicated then we have perform the treatment for the bacterial disease treatment for the that is the which fin rod or the tail rod the first treatment those fishes that are to be affected this bacterial pathogen that is the eremonas fishes for eremonas for this deep such infected fishes in 2 minutes of 0.05% CSO4 solution that is copper sulfate solution affected fishes from pond affected fishes from the reservoir or tank these affected fishes these are to be keep bathing keep deep into how many 2 minutes in 0.05% copper sulfate solution 0.05% copper sulfate solution it is to be controlled it is to be remove the bacterial pathogens and it is to minimize the or lower in the bacterial disease of the pin rod or tail uh, second <coughs> treatment 
सपोज सीवियर ट्रीटमेंट दी जा टू बी डन सीवियर पीछे दी जा टू बी इंफेक्टेड देन एट दैट टाइम सच पीछे दी जा टू बी कीप इन माइंड दैट सच सीवियर अफेक्टेड पीछे दी जा टू बी सेलेक्ट दी जा टू बी चूज सर्जिकली दी जा टू बी पार्ट अफेक्टेड पार्ट दी जा टू बी कट डाउन दी जा टू बी सर्जिकली दी जा पार्ट दी जा टू बी कट डाउन दी जा टू बी रिमूव बाय सीजर्स रिमूव बाय द any instrument and then suppose this cordon pin these are to be cut down by scissors by knife then these fishes these are to be keep barking keep barking up to one week in 0.004 percent K2CR2O7 potassium dichromate in potassium dichromate these such surgically रिमूव पेन स्पीशेज सर्जिकली सच पीशेज इज आर टू बी कीप बाथिंग कीप दीज पीशेज इज आर टू बी बाथिंग टू वन वी अपू अगनी पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर परसेंट पोटेशियम डायक्रोमेट सोल्यूशन इट इज आल्सो गुड इट इज आल्सो बेस्ट इफेक्टिव टू कंट्रोल टू रिमूव द टेट वॉट ऑफ द पिन Then also these diseases are these diseases these are to not control, not cure. Then again keep bathing. Such affected fishes these are to keep bathing into 10 to 20 ppm of potassium per minute. Ten minute of solution. 10 to 20 ppm of potassium per minute solution. These fishes these are to be these are to keep bathing for five minutes and up to the five minutes. These the fish is these are to be with the potassium per magnet. It is also controlled. It is also minimized. This pin dot or the tail dot. Suppose then also this fish is these are to be not cure, not control. Then to these infected fish, to these affected fish, there is some antibiotics, some antibiotics that is neomycin. Then. Neomycin. It is an important antibiotic. This antibiotic, these are to be used. These are to be used for control the this bacterial disease. Second, chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol. Oxy. Tetracycline. This another antibiotic or this another antibiotic that is one is the neomycin and second is the chloramphenicol oxytetracycline. These two antibiotics these are to be incorporated. These are to be mixed into the food material and then that two these are to be provided. That two these are to be supplied to the fish. When this these antibiotic these antibiotics these are to be incorporated into the supplementary food. Mix with the supplementary food, and this supplementary food is that to be mixed into the water. And when fish is that to be consumed, these supplementary food with neomycin and chloramphenicol oxytetracycline, these bacteria, these pathogens, these are to be ultimately dead. These are to be ultimately die or die, and fish becomes free from this bacteria pathogens, free from this bacteria. This is a bacteria, that is a microorganism, and this will be free. It is also another treatment. Or care should be taken that those fishes these are to be treated to this bacterial pathogen. Care should be taken that those are the infected part. On this infected part, no other pathogens. That may be fungal pathogens. That may be protozoal pathogens. That may be crustacean pathogens. That may be worm pathogens or that may be other pathogens. These are to not affect. These are to not affect on this affected part. Not affect on these things. It is to be carefully taken. Suppose these are to be affected on these part. Then it will be difficult to control to cure this bacteria. This is because we are controlling, we are minimizing the pain part or pain part. But at the same time, fungal these are to be affected. These treatment these are to not treated. These treatment these are to not sufficient for the fungal treatment. 
Suppose these treatment these are to be given for proposal, this will be not sufficient and these proposals, these are to not kill them, means to control the bacteria, these other pathogens, these are to grow and complete crop, these are to be lost for that purpose. To care should be taken that other pathogens, other microbes, other different organisms, these are to be not affect, not affected on the fish and these are to be not cause the disease. With this care should be taken, we have minimized, we have lower the, or we have reduced the effect of tail dog or pin dog and fish dog or the crop of the fish which to be cultured in pond, cultured in tank, cultured in reservoir, we have grow very well and we have produce optimum fish production. With this, we have seen that the bacterial disease, tail dog or pin dog. Then next point we have seen the second bacterial disease that is the crops. Yes, up to here, any difficulty, please ask, any problem, please ask, anything. Okay? Thank you.